Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to use the sine rule to find the unknown obtuse angle in a triangle. So the sine rule, also referred to as the law of sines, states that in any triangle with sides A, B, and C, and opposite angles also A, B, and C, the following is true. A over the sine of angle A equals B over the sine of angle B, which is also, that was a terrible B, let's try that again, which is equal to C over the sine of angle C. So, we can use this to try to find out more information about this triangle here, where we could think of this as angle A and this as side A, and we can think of this as angle B and this as side B. And we know that this is obtuse. So we have 5 over the sine of 30. That should be equal to 7 over the sine of, we'll call it theta. Why not? And we can rearrange this a little bit. Multiply both sides. We get, let's see here sine of theta is equal to 7 sine of 30 over 5. And from here, we can take the inverse sine of both sides, also sometimes referred to as the arc sine. We use that notation to avoid ambiguity. Arc sine of 7 sine 30 over 5. One interesting thing to note about this particular arrangement is that this will actually give us two different answers, and here's why. Now, if these are the only three pieces of information that we know about the triangle, and let's ignore for the moment that we know that this angle is obtuse, an interesting thing can happen. This angle is 30. Let's extend this line outwards. There are actually two triangles that will make this configuration happen, with a 30 degree angle, a side of length 7, and a side of length 5. And the other one will look something like this. So one of these triangles will have an acute angle here, and this will give us that angle which is approximately 44 degrees. But the other triangle is the one that has an obtuse angle here, which is our theta. And in order to find that, we simply need to subtract this value from 180. Which gives us approximately 136 degrees for theta. In most situations, applying the sine rule or the law of sines will be completely unambiguous. But you need to be careful when you have angle, side, side, because that will leave some ambiguity in your answer. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to use the sine rule to find the unknown obtuse angle in a triangle.